Hey friends, it's your girl T, aka the Nappy Headed Jehova. In my video where I discuss my ride or die hair products, I refer to my daily spray leave-in that I mix up myself and I explicitly went through everything that is in it and also explained that I never measure anything. Nonetheless, people still wanted me to give them the recipe in the comments. So um, there isn't a recipe, but I am out. I am actually out of my usual daily little mist or every other day, however often I need it. And I was about to mix some up, so I figured why not record it? Obviously the first thing I have is my spray bottle here. Next is the base, which in my other video I explained is aloe vera juice. This is the brand I use because it does not require refrigeration and that is why I like it. But really any aloe vera juice will probably work just fine. Then I have some vegetable glycerin. The label has completely faded, but this is just some vegetable glycerin. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Amazon originally just because it's a little bit cheaper than getting it from Whole Foods or someplace like that. But if you are not sure where to buy vegetable glycerin or for that matter any of these ingredients, Google it. The next ingredient is some jojoba oil. Obviously, I love jojoba oil because it is part of my channel namesake, so yeah, critical ingredient. The next ingredient is castor oil. Again, any castor oil will probably be fine. I generally use either Jamaican black castor oil or this, which is just a castor oil that's infused with various Ayurvedic herbs. I will leave the link to where I buy this in the description box. I also talked about this oil in my favorites video, so I talk more about it there if you're interested. Generally, I kind of use either that or the Jamaican black castor oil, depending on what I feel like using that particular day. The last things you'll need are some essential oils. I pretty much always put in some tea tree just because it's antimicrobial and good for scalp health and things of that nature. After the tea tree, I usually add one or two other essential oils for either their beneficial properties for skin and hair or just for fragrance or both. Today I'll be using rosemary and then also lemongrass, which is primarily just for fragrance because I love the smell of lemongrass. This is optional and I'm actually opting not to do this today, but I will sometimes also add some coconut oil. This is fractionated coconut oil, which just means that it will always be liquid. It's been processed to remain liquid. I use this in my spray because it's a spray. So if the coconut oil starts going solid in my spray bottle, that kind of isn't going to work. So for my spray, I will use coconut oil that has been fractionated. If I do today, I'm not. So let's mix this thing up. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to almost fill this to the top with the aloe vera juice. So that much aloe vera juice. Then I like to add a pretty generous amount of glycerin. And I just keep going until I feel like that's a good amount, that's how much glycerin I like. I know a lot of people are really um, mindful of like glycerin in their products and like look up dew points and all that kind of stuff. I don't do any of that. Um, my hair seems to be fine with glycerin, so I use it. That much jojoba oil, that much castor oil. Do about five drops of tea tree. I'm gonna go for five drops of the rosemary. And since the lemongrass is going in here mostly for fragrance, I'm probably gonna do like 15 drops of this. So that really is all there is to it. I don't know if this was a complete waste of time because I mean, there's no measurement. This is such a non-recipe. It really is just putting all the crap that I said I put into this bottle from the other video putting it in there, shaking it up, and then spraying it on my hair. That's all there is to it. I don't know if this was actually helpful, but some of you asked for it, so I hope it helped at least a couple of you out there because maybe actually just seeing the amounts maybe helped you get a better idea that I wasn't using like 80% castor oil or something. That's pretty basic, and thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. That's a, a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna tell you that now. <laughs>